All right, this is Andrew Jolly with Joda Home Inspections. We're here at 1311 North Catherine Street in Salt Lake doing a sewer scope. We've got the camera pushed out just shy of 115 feet. Now we're going to pull it back and record it and see what we find. So first connection point is called the nose on. Looks like you had a decent connection there where it was connected to the city line. This line does have some offsets. So if you look right here at the uh, the next section of pipe, how you can see a ring on the bottom. That's where the pipes have slipped or separated a little bit and created that lip or an offset. Uh, that offset can cause waste to get caught, which can uh, create a blockage, which can lead to a backup. This one on the screen, that one's not too bad. Um, still can cause problems, but that one's not as bad as a lot that I've seen. That one's a little bit worse. This looks like clay pipe. If you look at the left side of the screen, kind of that red terracotta color. Starting to see some roots coming through the joints. There's a bigger one. I would recommend having, ooh, there's a big one. I'd recommend having this line cleaned out. There's a real big one. Uh, just like the offsets, waste can get caught on those roots and create a blockage. There's a real big one. So once you have roots, you're always going to have roots. It's just a matter of having them cleaned out periodically. Some houses get it done every year, some more, some less. There's a couple ways to have it cleaned. You can have them cabled. And so if you have a backup and you need to quickly get the water to drain, um, cabling it is an option. I recommend having it hydrojetted. A hydrojet is going to blast out everything. Uh, typically, the company will include a scope so that you can be sure that you got all the roots. A cable just punches a hole through the through the blockage, and so it might fix it for a little bit, but then you can have the same problem. So this looks like a section of cast iron, which is most likely what you have under the house. Uh, cast iron gets rough and rusty and will eventually need to be replaced. This looks like typical cast iron uh, for the age. I've definitely seen lots of houses that have already had it replaced or had liners put in at this point, um, but also many others that last for a couple more decades. Um, not seeing a lot of standing water, very minimal standing water, a little bit of waste, um, but for the most part I would say it's performing the way that it should be. I'd recommend having the roots cleaned out and then having a camera done after that is performed to look at the rest of the line and, and evaluate the areas that I couldn't see because the roots were concealing some spots. Uh, last thing, I would recommend getting the insurance on this line. You can get an insurance in Salt Lake through HomeServe, and that will offset the cost of the line when, uh, if and when it needs to be replaced. So I'm going to end this recording now.